Hi, good evening. I'm Keith Bonus, the uh, assistant coach or head coach at Carl Shorten Athletic. I work with uh, player manager Peter Adonai. So part one of the session, we, we know we've got technical players who are, are capable of, of beating a player in a 1v1 situation, but they probably don't do it enough, tend to hesitate and take too many touches. So the first part of that session was really to get them more positive thinking and uh, more determined and more confident in taking them on in those 1v1s. And I was really happy with that. Uh, the camera will show there was lots of success, but it's also a twofold practice for us because we know we're going to come up against that type of player in our next game. So it's a, a double practice, if you like, for our defenders as well to how to cope with that type of, type of player. And I was really happy with it. Rest, try and rotate, different defender, different attacker if you can. Now, they've got to come through here, but okay, they can shoot from within here. If they take it to the side, if you left or right, they can still get their shot off from here. Okay, I'm not going to let them shoot over your heads. But if they beat you in a one-on-one -on -one here and they get the angle here and they decide to shoot, they can. So Clayton, you expect that as well, even from in here. So, what I said, even if you get a touch to the right or left there and you get your angle right, you can shoot from further out. But don't shoot from a ridiculous point where they haven't even pressed you. Okay, ready? Go! So, in front of the penalty area there, I put a, a fair-sized box, probably about 30 by 30, uh, with a start point, with the strikers, with the ball. Defender had a start point slightly to the side, so they weren't coming straight on. Um, and, and basically on my signal, they attacked. They had to go through the box. They couldn't go wide. Uh, and again, something we've seen is perhaps they're not going direct enough. They tend to go wider and wider and wider and allow the defender to force them that way. So we want them to be more direct. And, and if they can get in and around the penalty area, we also know that you can get seconds out of that. They can get brought down, obviously get a set pieces, penalties. Um, not that we're looking for a dive, we don't do that, but um, we wanted to be more positive in that, in that area. Good! Yep, yep! Good defending. Think about that. Good, Ola, good! Great feet! Seconds! Too late, too late. Okay, that's maybe what we're not alert to. If he gets a parry in there, it stays in the penalty area. Get the second one if you can. Again, it should it should show uh, that it was, think about as you get the defender, look at the defender's body shape. Normally they'll lead showing their strongest side to recover on. So if you can be a bit clever and flip it the other side, use a little trick to get to the other side, you're gonna nick an extra yard of space. If you do go on the strongest side, potentially you get the ball further away because you know there's space there and you use your speed to beat them because they're going backwards, you're going forwards.